Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl T, and I'm here to do part one of my updated coloring book stash. Now, before I get started with all that, I want to say welcome to those of you who were um, decided to click on and check out the video and have not subscribed. I hope that by the end of this video that you will click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can see when I upload any videos. Um, and then I want to say thank you to those who are subscribers for sticking in there with me. Um, I don't <laughs> post videos um, that much here lately, um, but since I passed my exam, yay! I passed my exam, y'all! Since I passed my exam, I can woosa and do some videos, and I'm so excited. So this is the first um, series I'm going to start with, which is my updated coloring book stash video okay um now a lot of these books i've been gifted for happy mail or just gifts and a lot of the books i purchased so yeah <laughs> you guys are going to see this is probably going to be kind of long i don't know how many videos are going to be in this series because i do have a lot of coloring books so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and get started so i decided not to put these in any kind of order it's just going to be random because I'm working on um, finding a new place for my books and um, getting them um, documented as far as what I've colored what I haven't colored in and putting those on my list so I decided to start with the coloring books that I have colored in so I'm going to start with the first one here this is vertical worlds coloring book by Abby Docker um, this book has a lot of um, fine details, so if you're a person who likes details, this is a book definitely for you. Um, it's Vertical Worlds, and this one I did color a page, and I'll find that one. I colored this page, and I used fine liners, so this is like a, a fine liners kind of book and gel pens. So that is the first one. Okay, the next book that I have is Serene. Um, this is by Nicholas C. Nicholas Filbert. <laughs> we all know him as Nicholas Filbert. Um, I've done, um, this book is gorgeous. Um, I'm not sure if you can still find this book at all. Um, I've, I did this picture here. I think I did, I think that's it. Yeah, this, that's all I've done in this book, but this book is gorgeous. Um, if you're able to try to get your hands on it um, and you like beautiful details such as this, um, you would want to get your hands on this book. And that, again, is Serene by Nicholas Filbert. Next um, is The Sweet Shop, and this is by Chris Price. I've colored one page in here. Um, and I think I use ink tints on this. I like this for watercolor. The paper is great. It's, it's uh, single-sided. But this is just a book with a bunch of, like, things you would see in a candy shop. Like an old-fashioned candy shop. Very, very cute. Lots of cool stuff to color. And that's the sweet shop. Next, I have Quirkles. Um, this is in Italian. My friend in Italy sent me this book, and I'll show you. I colored one in here, so I don't. You can't really tell what these are. This is a Quirkles, so it's basically a bunch of circles, um, and you pick five colors ranging from dark to light. And you, um, I believe, number one is the darkest color, and five is the lightest color. And I think I did one in here. I'll show you guys. Yeah, I did this one. It was very fun, and I love the colors I chose for that. Okay. Next was Quirkle Icons, Quirkle's Icons. Um, and this one I have colored in. These are the colored in books. So, again, you really can't see uh, what the pictures are just looking at the circles or who they are. And I did this one. And, again, I love the color choices on this one. All right, that's Quirkle's Icons. 
by Thomas Pavitt. The next book I have is called Flowers, a coloring book. This is by Miranda. This book is, it's uh, bound at the top here. Very thick paper. It's smooth, I love it. The back, you have backgrounds already colored in for you if you don't like doing them. And let's find the one. These are beautiful. If you like bold um, line art, I really do. I think it makes pictures look really nice sometimes. So this book is really nice. I would, um, I would, if you like coloring flowers, this might be a great one to get. And I did this page here. Okay. And again, that's Flowers by Veranda. Next, I have Color Me Your Way. This is Animals A to Z by PJ C. Smart. And this is like a Zen doodly kind of book, but it's poster size. Um, let me see if I can find the size, you guys. Uh, yes, 11 by 16. So this is an 11 by 16. And I have a I have one page I did in here. Um, but I'll show you guys some of the pictures. Very, very beautiful images in these books. I love these books. I actually got the whole uh, series, but I decided to share. And I gave away like three of them because I knew I wouldn't be able to color in all of these. So, yes. And this is the one I actually um, am working on. It's a whip. So if you see a tag like that, this is a whip. So um, I got to get finishing. I forgot I had a whip in here. <laughs> so I'm going to get this finished. Um, if you can see, there's an eagle inside of this crane. It's an eagle sitting here and it's like morphed into a crane. Very, very cool book. I love it. Okay. And again, this is... Color Me Your Way, Animals A through Z. And this one is Color by Numbers Masterpieces. And this is a, I don't know who the illustrator is. Oh, this is a Paragon book. So, you know, it's just a normal color by number book. Very big open wide spaces. If you're somebody who doesn't like fine details, like maybe the, um, George Dufexis. This could be something up your alley. You see the big spaces there. And I did one. And the cool thing about this is that I didn't have all these colors, so I did what I wanted to do, and I still like the way it came out. So you could use these colors or not. It's really up to you. All right, and again, that's Color by Number Masterpieces. Next, I have a Colorscapes Cityscapes. I mean, sorry, Color Quest Cityscapes by John Woodcock. Um, this is a very, this is like an 11 by 16 size book too. Um, a little shorter than that, maybe. And I did this picture here. And this one, you really can't see what's going on in some of these pictures um, because there's, this has a variety, you have squares, and then you have some with actual pictures or like shapes to color in. Um, but yes, this is a really fun book to do when you sit down and do it. And I used um, Crayola Super Tips in that one. Next, I have Colortronic. And this is a Lark, uh, published by Lark. And let's see, this is a color by number. It's just very vibrant. So if you like uh, your pictures to turn out vibrant like, like that, um, this was so fun to do. I added this background. Um, so I love the colors of this so much. I love this book. I haven't done a lot in it. I've done like three, but yes, very, very cool book to, to color in. I did this one here, the zebra, and I think I did. And this one, I first got it, I tried it with colored pencils and I didn't like the way the colored pencils looked in it. So I went to using, um, markers. All right, so that's Colortronic by, uh, this is a Lark coloring book. Next, I have Sun Life Drawing 40 Coloring Pages. This one is, um, 
a variety of their coloring books. You get some of a lot of them. <laughs> like the One Color, Lines and Dots, Animal Quest, Travel Mosaic. So this is a variety book. And so this one I'm actually working on finishing. Um, so I've done quite a bit in this book. I'm almost done. I think I just have, let's see. Yeah, I just have these few pages left here and I will be done with this book. So again, that is Sun Life Drawing, 40 coloring pages. Next, I have Fantastic Structures. Um, and this is by Steve McDonald. And this one is double-sided, very busy. Um, and it's huge, it's very detailed. So if you don't like details, this is not a book for you. <laughs> um, but, you know, I like it. Um, I just like the concept of the book. And in the inside here, in the spine, close to the spine, it tells you what you're looking at. Like this page here is Stuttgart City Library Interior at the Stuttgart, in Stuttgart, Germany. So, yes, it's a very wide book. I'm sorry it's not in frame. Um, and I colored this page here, a bunch of buildings, and this here. And this is the Pont Vecchio in Florence, Italy. All right, and again, that's Fantastic Structures by Steve McDonald. Next, I have Collaborate with Zio. Z by Zio Ziegler. This is a very interesting book. It's double-sided. I absolutely love the weirdness of it. <laughs> it's so weird and cool. Uh, I didn't get to color in this that much. Um, I've only done one page, which is that one here. It was very fun to do. Um, but yes, very, very cool. Very cool book. And that's Collaborate with Zio by Zio Ziegler. Or Ziegler. I'm not sure how you say that. Next, I have Color It Mandalas, Adult Coloring Book, Volume 3. And this is Spiral Bound at the top. Very good quality paper. Um, I did one page in here, but I'll show you some of the mandalas. So nice, bold, black line art I love that I love that the boldness of it and I've done one page and this was done um, on screen and I love the color palette so bright bold I love it the black just pops right out of there very beautiful books and that's mandalas by color it volume three Next, I have The Magical City by Lizzie Mary Cullen. And a lot of people don't like <laughs> these books. I do. Again, it's weird, quirky, um, just so cool. When you get done coloring it, you're amazed at how it looks. Um, these books, a lot, of, a lot of colorists do use ink tints. And so I tried ink tints in this book. And I did this page here. I love how it turned out, and I think ink tints is the best way to go. You don't get any bleed through in the back, and it just looks great. All right, so that's The Magical City, and this is by Lizzie Mary Cullen. Next, I have Color With Me, Mom, Color, Create, and Connect With Your Child. In this book, I was doing with Christian live. <laughs> He's not into coloring anymore, so, you know, I can't finish this book. <laughs> but it's so cute. The backgrounds are colored in. You have one side for mom, one side for the child. And the side for the parent is more detailed than the side for the child. And you can actually sit and color together. Um, you guys can check out those videos. He's a character. Um, uh, kids say the darndest things. <laughs> so here's some that we colored together. Uh, see if I can find any more. Here's one. We use, I think, paints or no markers. His his little Crayola markers. We did this. So we've done a quite a bit in here. He just is not into this anymore. So, color with me, mom. 
and this is illustrated by Hannah Davies. Next, I have Mystica. And this is a beautiful book. I love this book. You guys, I forgot who this is by. Oh my goodness. I forgot who this is by. I should write it in here once I find out. But yes, this book is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I love the artwork in here. And I like how you get the actual um, image of the artwork done by the artist. If you want to use it for inspiration. Very beautiful book. And I did one page in here. And I did this beautiful girl here. And I put... Um, stickles on her jewelry just to get a little sparkle you probably can't see that in the video uh, but I had so much fun coloring this the paper is a dream so yes very very nice all right and again that is Mystica Next, I have, um, I think this is coloring music. I forget this one too, y'all. This is the Momo Girl. I think this is the music one. But I did this page here. I did, and I used um, glitter gel pens on the um, swords here in the back. I wanted to use this bright green. Um, it's a very beautiful book. It's got very beautiful images in it. I love the images in this book. And that one is, I think this is um, Momo Girl, the music one, I believe. You guys, oh, I'm so bad with that. <laughs> Especially if they're not in English, I don't remember. All right, the next one I have is Sweets and Dishes. I'll zoom in for this one, it's a tiny book. And this is by Eri Nishiwaki. And this is a book with a bunch of food to color. Different sweet treats to color. The line art is in like a purple color. If you like that. This one I got from Amazon Japan. And I've colored, let me give you some examples of some of the colored images here in the front. And I colored one, let me find it, here it is. Colored that one picture there. Very cute book, that's Sweets and Dishes. Next is Gnomes in the Neighborhood. Oops, zoom out, T. <laughs> All right, Gnomes in the Neighborhood. This is a book that I completed last year. And so um, it's this is by Denise Klett, and I've completed this whole book. If you want to see a complete flip through of it, um, you can check it out on my channel here. And again, that is Gnomes in the Neighborhood by Denise Klett. Next, I have Seasons by Hannah Carl Hannah Carlson, and I've only done the intro pages. You can see here and here. I've done nothing else in this book and I thought I colored more in this book and I had not. Shame, shame, shame. Um, but yes, that is Seasons by Hannah Carlson. And I have Sagor Och Sagner by Emily Lytle Hall Oberg. Okay, and this book as well. I Thought I colored more, and I only started this page here. I have not colored the little deer or doe here, so I have a tag on it because it's a whip. I did not realize I didn't finish. This is a gorgeous book as well. Um, very beautiful book, and as I look through my books and show you guys what I have, I'm like, I need to get, I need to get coloring. <laughs> and thank God I can now! Yay! I'm so excited. All right, next we have Grayscale Coloring Book, Light and Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. I have a whip in here. I did not finish this page. 
Um, this page, um, I mean, this book is grayscale. I, I like the Jade Summer grayscale because you don't have to do anything but use markers if you don't want to. And it will it, it will make it look like you shade it, it in if you're using the right colors. Um, you know, picking the right color for the gray is the trick. Um, and let's see if I have any to show you that I finished. Yeah, I think I finished. Yes, here we go. I did this one here. I love the way that one turned out. And I used um, markers, I think, on this. Crayola Super Tip and Crayola Colored Pencils on this. All right, so that's Light and Dark Fantasy, Grayscale Coloring Book. And this was Happy Mail. I forget from who, but yeah, that was a Happy Mail book. Um, then I have Adorable Animals Grayscale Coloring Book, and this is by Jane Madej. Gorgeous book as well. You have um, examples in the back you can use for reference. Um, but then you get these gorgeous grayscale pages, and the paper is great. I love the paper in here. This is a very springtime kind of book, so I may be pulling this out, and I did this cutie. <laughs> cute little bunny here but yes that is adorable animals grayscale coloring book by Jane Madej now we have Colin Thompson's fantasies fanta teaches mock book Ooh, sorry about that <laughs> um, this is another one of those books that's kind of all over the place if you don't like busy pictures this is not the book for you there's a lot going on and you can actually um get his puzzle these i mean he does puzzles with these crazy kind of pictures like so i think that's pretty cool that they made a coloring book with these images just i love this weird quirky stuff yes and i did this page here just this side and I use Marco Ruffines, I think, on this. And I did one more in the back. I know I did. Let's see. Since we're here. Yeah, I did this one. The chair. So this is a really fun book, too. I need to get more into this one as well. I love grayscale coloring. To me, it's pretty easy. Some people don't find it easy. They find it intimidating. Um, next is Fairies Grayscale Coloring Book by Kristen Caron. And of course, her artwork is just amazing. The paper in this, oh, here's one I did. The paper in this book is also awesome. It's another one I did. Um, yes, beautiful images, I did that one. I think that's all I did in this book, yes. So that's Fairies Grayskull Coloring by Kristen Caron. Next I have Twilight Garden. And all I managed to color in this book are these pages here. Um, when I've gone to take uh, this book out to color it, and I looked through it to color picture, I never found anything that was appealing to me to want to color at the moment you know at the time um, I like coloring flowers and stuff but for some reason this book just didn't do that for me this this year or last year 2020 at all I didn't color in this book at all but this is a gorgeous book I just I don't know what it is um, I just didn't feel like coloring this book but anyways this is Twilight Garden by Maria Trolle or Maria Troll Next, I have Fantasia by Nicholas Filbert, Artist Edition. It's spiral bound. Um, it is not single sided, so I know a lot of people do not like that about this book. I don't care because I like using pencils anyway. But um, you can look at some of the images in here. Just very nice images. I'm not sure if this one's still available. Very nice, and let's see what I've done in here. 
Okay, I did the Medusa. That one. Let's see what else I did. I did something else. Something else. Oh, I did this beautiful girl here. And there's another one. I knew, I knew, I knew. It's on the back side. Yeah, I should have flagged them. Oh, here it is. And I did this cool, this cool dude here. Very fun to color in this book. So that is Fantasia by Nicholas Filbert. Next, I have Posh Coloring Book, Inspired by Nature by Marjolaine Baston. This book is gorgeous, you guys. The unique thing about this book is that you get the image on one side for inspiration, and then you have the image here to color, but the line art is in different colors. Like this one's in green. Um, this one's in blue. But if you notice, there's more blue blue hues in this page. Um, so I like how they did that in this book. Um, and it's gorgeous images. And it can help you with learning how, where to put color, how to shade, because you're looking here and copying here. Um, I did one page, one page in here. And let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Okay, so this is their page and this is my page. And I was so proud of this because I really took my time to try to, you know, match it. But I felt like mine's a little bit brighter because I'm using light, brighter colors. That's just me. But I really enjoyed doing that. And that is Posh Coloring, Inspired by Nature by Marjolaine Baston. Next I have Escape to Wonderland, and this is a good Wives and Warriors book. I have a whip in here, which is the front page. Um, I've colored, oh, another one. Well, I'll know to look at that. Um, another whip, and I've done a couple pages in here. This is with watercolor, and you can see it didn't bleed through. So it can take watercolor really well. It's, it's nice, decent paper. So I'll show you guys some of the images in here. I like Good Wives and Warrior books. They're nice quality books. You get some beautiful images. Very nice images. Okay, so that is uh, Escape to Wonderland, illustrated by Good Wives and Warriors. Then I have Escape to Shakespeare's World by Good Wives and Warriors. This one, I colored just the intro page here. I love how it turned out. Um, and again, gorgeous book. Very nice illustrations detailed just beautiful very nice okay so that is it's escape to shakespeare's world oh i can't talk good wives and warriors okay and the last book in this video that i've colored in is coloring dragons and this is a Pictura book, and this is by John Howe, and it's from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies, Dragons, and I've only done one. So these books fold out this way. So, you know, like a, in a panoramic style. So I did the first, I did this dragon here, and I use ink tents. All of this is ink tents right here. And I love the way it turned out. It's mama with her baby. So yeah, this whole, uh, it's a big, huge scene with dragons. It's really, really nice. So, um, uh oh, what's that? Oh, scratch paper. <laughs> yeah, so um, that is, um, again, Coloring Dragons, a Pictura book by John Howe. Now I'm gonna pause so we can get into the books I have not colored in. You guys, you might want to grab something to drink because <laughs> this is going to be a long video. I'm trying not to make it long. Um, at least in the next set of books, I don't have to show you pictures I've colored. I'll probably show like one or two images and move on to the next one just to make this video go a little shorter. One moment. 
All right, we're back. So these are books that I have not yet colored in. Okay, so first we have To the Moon. To the Moon. And this is by Sarah Yoon. And this book folds out. It's supposed to be one of, let's see what it says in the front. The, the tallest coloring book in the world extends 15 feet. So I'm not going to extend it all. I'm just going to flip up some of the images so you can see. Yes, so that is To the Moon by Sarah Yoon. Next, I have The Ocean Deep, and this is also by Sarah Yoon. Same concept, the longest coloring book in the world. This was Happy Mail. This is a letter that um, one of my subscribers wrote me. Um, and this is um, the book. This one's Under the Sea. So this is really cool. Really, really cool. And at the end of the book, it's like you're at the bottom of the ocean. The other one at the end of the book, you're at the moon. So that is um, To the Ocean Deep by Sarah Yoon. Next, oop, this got in the wrong pile because I did color a picture in this. This is a Secret Garden Artist Edition by um, Joanna Basford. This got in the wrong pile. This is a colored, this I colored in. This is the image I colored. Um, again, you know, it's Secret Garden pictures. It's just on really thick uh, paper. You can actually paint these, hang them on your walls. Um, it's really good quality. And this is what, this was a, um, this was a find at um, Ollie's for like $1.99, I believe. So yeah, that's Secret Garden Artist Edition. Next, I have Les Affiches Mystiques T2 A Colorier, I think. It's a Hatchet Heroes book, Hatchet Heroes. And when I saw this, I had to have it. So this is actually a book of movie posters, Disney movie posters. And you get several different movie posters to color. And what's cool about this book is at the end of the book, they have the actual posters in color <laughs> that you can actually go and you know get your inspiration from and go back and color these images. So this is in French, um, but you know, it's still Disney. And I love this book. I have not colored it. I'm kind of scared to color in it because it's so beautiful. <laughs> kind of want to keep it like this, but you know what? I need to color in it. But again, that's Les Affiches Mystiques by Hatchet Heroes. Next, I have Game of Thrones. Uh, this is the HBO version. And this one has some great images. I think this one has images by several different artists, I want to say. Very detailed pages. I loved watching Game of Thrones. So maybe I'll get into coloring this one soon. I think this one would be great for watercolor so you don't have to do too much, um, you know, shading and detailing too much. Just use watercolor just to get some color on the pages. Okay, so that is Game of Thrones. Next I have Floribunda by Layla du Dooley, a flower coloring book. Mine got damaged, but that's okay because the pages were not damaged inside. So again, this is all coloring florals. Very beautiful, very great, very nice paper. If you can hear it, it's very thick paper. So you can use watercolor if you choose in this book. And that is Floribunda. Next, I have Pictura um, Botanicals by Daniela Jelenka Terrazzini. And this is another book with very thick artist quality paper. And it's got florals in it. Very beautiful. Very beautiful flowers. You can paint and hang up on your walls if you choose. Just lovely. And they do tell you what flower it is in the book as well. 
So that is Pictura Botanicals by Daniela Jelenka, and it is a Pictura art print poster book. Next, I have Color Me 4. This is, um, yeah, this is just Color Me 4, so it's not like the A to Z. This is just the fourth book in the series. And again, it's Zen Doodly. A very cute. That's a cute page right there. I'll show you one more. And here is um, a lady. Very, very nice. All right. And that's Color Me 4, and this is by PJC Smart. Next, I have Color Your Own Masterpiece. This is 30 Paintings from the Renaissance to Expressionism by Mary Augustine and Violet Benelon. Um, this is a, a gorgeous book. Um, this is another book I don't think I want to color in. I love that you get some history um, of the image before they show you the actual art piece here, image of the art, and then you have a chance to color it your this way or your own way. Me, I'm going to try to color it the way that they did because why not? Look at that. So again, it tells you the name of the painting, a little information about it, and then you get to see the image here on this side, and then you can color it on this side. Very, very nice book, great quality paper, and this is a hard a hardback. So that's Color Your Own Masterpiece by Marian Augustin and Violet Benelon. Now, if you want to see any flip throughs of complete flip throughs of any of these books, please let me know down in the comment section. I will try to have links to these books if I can find them on Amazon. Um, if I can't find the book on Amazon, you will not see it listed down in the um, description with a link, but it will have the name of the book. All right, so this is Colortronic Animals, and this is, again, a Lark coloring book. Have not colored anything in this one. It is going to be another bright book, uh, and it's color by number. Okay, so that's Colortronic Animals. And I have a Curiosity Shop. This is by Chris Price. Again, you're going into a shop old school shop and you find really neat cool stuff and this is what this book is stuff like that all right so the curiosity shop coloring book <clears throat> next I have girl power and this is an art therapy book by hatchet heroes I have not colored in this book yet because it's falling apart and I'm gonna go have this bound here at the top um, so it can be, you know, a spiral bound from the top because that's how the pages are glued at the top. So I'll show you guys some of the images. This Girl Power book is so cute. And it tells you who the character is if you don't know. Like, I don't know all of these characters. <laughs> I should, but I don't know. Like this one, I don't know who that is. But it says it right there. <laughs> But in the back, it will tell you who they are. But this book is really cute. You do have some wallpaper pages like that. But for the most part, you're getting really cute um, images. And you get 60 of them. So it's a really nice, thick book. All right. So that's Girl Power by Hatchet Heroes. And that is found on Amazon France or Amazon UK. Um, then I have the Book of Beasts. And who is this one illustrated by? Dun, 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 dun. Illustrated by Angela Rizza, The Book of Beasts. So this is like information on one side and then coloring them on the side. Actually, no, this is for the opposite page. Take that back. So yeah, see, here is this ogre here. And on the back, there's some information about the ogre and what what they did and things about them. So um, this is a cool book. If you like mythological creatures and stuff like that. Um, very, very nice book and it is hardbound. I'm not sure if you can find this anymore, um, but I will still put a link if I can find it for you guys. All right, 
Next, I have Escape uh, Rainforest Escape, and this is by Jade Gideon. This is a watercolor book, so the water the paper is watercolor paper, excellent quality paper. Um, you can use watercolor um, brushes, you can use watercolor pans, paint that you squeeze out yourself, pencils. Um, you can pretty much use anything in here. You can use markers if you want, or just colored pencils, but. Man, I can find you guys a page. You can see they're all folded. There's a lot of fold outs in this book. So when you see that, it means open. You can fold out and see some beautiful images. Um, it's just really nice. Simple, nice images, but beautiful book. So that's Rainforest Escape by Jade Gideon. Next, I have Tiffany Glass Coloring Book by Jessica Palmer. This is a really nice book, too. It is double-sided for the most part. Now, look, see, some of them are not. Um, but, yes, really nice book. Again, that's Tiffany Glass by Jessica Palmer. Then I have Secret London, Color Your your Way to Calm by Rosie Goodwin and Alice Chadwick. Just London. I've always wanted to go here. Seeing the page, seeing the pictures, just, you know, like the images like this illustrated is pretty cool. And you get to color it. But that is Secret London. And I found this one at Dollar General for $3. See? $3. So really happy to find that one. Next I have From Holland with Love. This is by Majda Vandenberg. Majda Vandenberg. And this is a really gorgeous book too. It's perforated so you can rip those out if you'd like. I kind of don't like that it's hardback and it's got perforated pages because um, I wouldn't want to rip my pages out of a perforated book that's hardbound. I don't know. But anyways, Beautiful Images by Majda. And I can't wait to get coloring in that one. Again, that is From Holland with Love. Next, I have this book here, which is um, by Gugeli or Gugeli, Fine Color. Um, very nice images in here. The paper is really thick. From what I understand, you can use watercolor on this paper. It's like... It's almost make you feel like you're you're um, touching cotton. That's how soft and um, it has a lot of texture and tooth to it. But it feels like cotton almost. So yeah, it's a gorgeous book. I think I got this one on AliExpress or Wish, one of the two. And I wasn't sure it was going to come. You know, <laughs> I don't trust those websites for some reason. <laughs> Because I've seen some, I've gotten some garbage stuff. But this one came exactly like they said it would was not damaged it's a thick book really nicely packaged so yes that is uh, fine color by Gugeli all right next I have colorage wild 2 have not colored anything in this gorgeous book so cute I need to get cracking and again that's colorage wild 2 I have Colorage Wild. This is the first one. I did actually color a picture in here, but I gave it to someone. So I'm saying this is an uncolored page, as you can see. Um, I'm saying this is uncolored because I didn't have one in the book. So I need to get cracking on that too. And that is Colorage Wild um, by Emmanuel Collin. Both of them are by Emmanuel Collin. Next, I have A Million Sloths by Lulu Mayo, or Mayo. Cute, cute books. Always so cute. All of her books are just adorable. If you like dark line art, this is definitely a book for you. All right, and that's A Million Sloths by Lulu Mayo, or Mayo. And then I have 100 Hugs by Chris Rydell. This is not really a coloring book, but we colorists have made this into a coloring book. I've yet to color in it. 
but it has some of the most cutest images of people hugging, creatures hugging, monsters hugging. <laughs> it's, you know, they put a little smile on your face. You got ghosts hugging. It's really, really cute. And that's 100 Hugs by Chris Rydell. Next I have Exotisha Erwald by Good Wives and Warriors. Another awesome book. I'm not colored in. Great paper. Double-sided. Look at the parrots. I love it. Lots of animals. Very nice. Okay. Exotic show. Revolt. Revolt. I don't know how to say that. Next I have John Byrne's Stowaway to the Stars, a graphic album to color. This one has a lot of busy, detailed pictures in it. So again, if you're not, if that's not you, don't get this book. <laughs> um, most of them are really detailed, as you can see. All right, so that is Still Way to the Stars by John Burns. A few more guys, a few more. Next, I have Anton Setter's Art Nouveau coloring book. And this was actually sent to me by the illustrator, uh, by the publisher. And I have not yet colored in this one, but it's got beautiful images if you like Art Nouveau. This is actual artist, okay? Um, so that's the back of it. Yes, from Pomegranate Publishing. And that's Anton Seder's Art Nouveau coloring book. Great quality books they have, great quality paper. Um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, coloring book, a fantasy art adventure. You guys, I am so afraid to color in this book. Oh my gosh, the images are gorgeous and I do not wanna mess this book up, but I'm gonna have to get over my fear and just go for it. Maybe I'll color a small one <laughs> just to make myself feel good about coloring these images um, because I am do not wanna mess this book up. But again, that's Jasmine, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, The Coloring Book, A Fantasy Art Adventure. Next I have Escape to Oz. This is a Good Wives and Warriors coloring book. I have not colored anything in this one. I think there's four in the series. I think I have all four. There's a Christmas one I have colored in. Um, but yes, this is The Wizard of Oz. Very cute, very cute book. And again, that's Escape to Oz by Good Wives and Warriors. Then I have Happy Mail I received, and it's called Team Punk, Steam, Team Punk, Steampunk Ladies Vintage Woman Fashion Coloring Book by Rachel Mintz. And it's got a bunch of fashion images with a lot of metal in the backgrounds or on them. Really cute book. So that's Steampunk Ladies by Rachel Mintz. Next I have Forest Girls Coloring Book by Apol. This is another book, Ooh, intimidating for me. Um, I don't want to mess up the book. <laughs> oh, I'm like, do I color it like they did or do I do my own thing? I might use some inspiration, but then add, just change them up my, you know, to add my own touch. But yeah, very intimidating book for me. And that's Forest Girls Coloring Book by April. Next, I have um, Audrey Hepburn's She Said It Best Coloring Book by, illustrated by Kimma Parrish. I love Audrey Hepburn. So you get some quote pages and then you get some pages to color with a quote. Um, it's very nice. It's a very nice book. Great paper, single sided. You can use markers. Yeah, very nice. And that's called She Said It Best by Audrey Hepburn. I mean, Audrey Hepburn, illustrated by Kima Parrish. Next, I have Coloring Fairies, Pictura. 
And this is artwork by Narut Putapipa. Sorry, Narut P. How about that? <laughs> I have a very unique name myself, so I really try to pronounce people's names. Um, and I grew up with people saying my name wrong all the time and always having to correct people. Um, but this is another one of those foldouts this way, and um, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous book. And I think I found this at the Dollar General for $1. No, no, two ninety nine dollars at always but the dollar general did have some and they were clearance for a buck and i did pick some up and i think i gifted those all right now we have coloring paris and this is a tomislav tomic um pictura so again you're folding out this way look at that isn't that gorgeous Ooh wee that is so nice and my plan is for any of these is to use watercolor um, or any kind of water medium because it just it just looks really nice when you do that in these. So again, that is an Ollie's Find for $2.99. And that's Coloring Paris. It's a Pictura book illustrated by Thomas Lovetomic. The next one is another Pictura, and this is a stroll in London coloring. Um, featuring the artwork of Thomas Flintham. And this is pretty cool. This is kind of quirky. I like it. This is so cute. Really, really cute images. And again, you fold it out. Look at the fox here. <laughs> the fox. It's so cute. So, of course, I had to pick that up because I like Pictura. And this was also an Ollie's find for $2.99. And um, again, that is Coloring a Stroll in London by Thomas Flintham. The last Pictura book in the stack is The Coloring Nature. This is by Helen Ward. This is, a, again, a panoramic fold-out coloring book. This one has the um, artwork in, in each one is, of course, different because it's different illustrators, but... Um, just so unique. Each one is just so unique. Look at the little mouse. <laughs> Got something there. I don't know what that is. Um, but it's very, very nice. Very nice. So again, you know, using watercolors on these. So that is Coloring Nature, um, illustrated by Helen Ward. And the last two books I have are... De, De Walt Under the Lupa Zelanda. I think it's the world under the mic, microscope, the land. I'm, I'm not sure, you guys. I'm not sure. But this is a, go, a gorgeous book. Rita Berman is probably in my top 10 favorite illustrators. Just so whimsical and cute. Oh my gosh. There's just adorable pages. I mean, this makes me happy just looking at her books. So again, that is The Walt Under the Lupa Zulanda by Rita Berman. And the last but not least is De Walt, De Walt <laughs> Under the Lupa Duwasa. So maybe the, I don't know, you guys. I don't know, Under the Water something. <laughs> All right, so, oh, this is so beautiful. Very summery, beachy, so cute and whimsical. I love it. Her style is just amazing. Just amazing. I love it. But yes, y'all, that is it for video number one. That was a lot. So in each video, like I explained, I'm going to list the books if I can find them with links. If I can't find them, you'll just see the names of the books down in the description below from the majority of them. Because some I can't remember what the names are because <laughs> they're in different languages. Um, but I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. This is part one. We have several parts. <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys enjoy this series. I asked the question in a poll. Um, and you all said you wanted to see it. 
the majority of you all would love to see an updated um, coloring book stash. So here we are, part one. Well, I hope you guys enjoy your evening or day whenever you're watching this. Take care until next time, y'all.